This evening, Vishnu Durga says 10% salary increase offered to the public servants will boost the economy. Minister of Indigenous Affairs and National Tushau's Council have made major inroads in eradication of TIP. In the region, in St. Lucia, Philip J. Pierre heads into SLP conference unchallenged for leadership position. And internationally, Alicia Machado became a hot topic in the first presidential debate. From Safe TV headquarters in South Rival Gardens, this is Safe TV Headline News with George Gonzalez. Headline News is now being streamed live on our YouTube channel as well as our website, SafeTVGuyana.com. Join us. President of the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Vishnu Durga, said the 10% wage increase offered to the public servants of Guyana will serve to boost the economy. Andrew Weeks reports. Vishnu Durga, president of the GCCI, said the 10% wage increase will have a multiplier effect. He explained that the benefits of wage increases is that the money is spent back into the economy. With the 10% that is offered and it's a scale of measures that's being offered, the fortunate thing with that type of spending is similar to rice. When a farmer gets paid, everybody in the village who they would have taken credit from and any other obligation they have get paid and then those people spend that money again. So if a person receives a dollar and they put aside 50 cents and they spend the other 50 cents on at a store, that becomes a multiplier of 1.5. If that portion in the store puts aside half of that and spends 25 cents, the same one dollar becomes spent 1.75 times. That's the nice thing with these wage increases because they get spent back in the economy and they have a higher multiplier effect than uh, gold, for example. Um, so that is the economic side of what the benefit will be from this increased spending in terms of uh, the salary increases. Dorga said that this type of spending is better for the economy than what happens in the case of gold, where the primary beneficiaries of the gold industry use their money to purchase assets which cannot be spent. And it is... Uh, from a private sector perspective, I doubt whether this, if we were to look at Guyana as a private entity, private sector entity, there would be no way there would be a salary increase, given that we're just 2% ahead of our uh, GDP growth. How can we pay 10% if we're 2% ahead, right? But public sector, for one, it's expected that there's an increase, and again, I'm happy that I'm not the Minister of Finance because there would not have been any, right? There would definitely not have been any because your 2% came from gold which isn't circulating in this economy. <laughs> How can I afford to give 10%? And again, if any business, you as well as running a business, you run a media entity, you didn't make more money than you did last year, where are you going to get the 10% from? You're going to run at a loss and then eventually you go bankrupt. According to Mr. Durga, in order for the public servants to get more money in their pockets, the government needs to create the facilitative environment. Make sure that the Revenue Authority does all they can to make exports easier. Le leave alone imports, exports easier. Uh, my colleague Alison here, I heard her entire list of issues she has with her exports, as does every other exporter in Ghana. And it's not just the Revenue Authority, there are many agencies involved in order to make a single export a reality. Um, to make sure that go the technology is amazing, but how do we put that technology in the hands of entrepreneurs? That is another avenue we're going to pursue as well, because it's all well and good to develop this, but it needs to be in the hands of entrepreneurs, and we need the investment side, the, in the incentives that exist, to allow this to happen. So we have a lot of these things happening in silos. Uh, the government has been on a learning curve. I'm hoping that this is part of the learning curve, but we as a private sector, you see that, right? In a company, ISC would have been our R&D department. Go Invest would have been our finance department to some extent because they do the incentives. And then operations would have been our entrepreneurs. When asked if the chambers believe the government is making efforts to put those mechanisms in place to turn the economy around, Dorga said. The simple answer with this, yes, but not with the level of urgency that the private sector would like. 
And you know private sector people are very impatient, right? If it could have happened yesterday, that's what we would have loved, but um, it's our job as a Chamber of Commerce to create the urgency as well. But the path that we're heading in does speak to the changes that are necessary, and we've seen that over the past uh, year. The GCCI feels that because of the state of the economy, public servants should be appreciative of the increases government is offering at this time. However, the Ghana Public Service Union has made its discontent known about the increase offered. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV2 Headline News. Thanks, Andrew. Years later, there has been no indication of arrest made against the person responsible for abusing those young inmates of the new Opportunity Corps. Rihanna Ahmad has more. During his time as opposition leader, the now president David Granger had asked for an in-depth investigation into the sexual molestation of young girls at the juvenile detention center on the Esquivel Coast. Two years later, there have been no reports of Gordon Back in 2014, three young inmates of the NOC approached the media with their allegations of sexual abuse. There were even more allegations about them being pregnant. But Director of Child Care and Protection Agency, Anne Green, today confirmed the stream to better the NOC's operations. Just under a month ago, I received from USAID a copy of the work plan to professionalize. It involves a few areas such as human resource and capacity building and strengthening of partnerships and roles and responsibility. Um, the incident occurred just around 12.15 p.m. Raj Jewelry, second floor custom design jewelry, made to order in just 24 hours. Call at 222-7283 or visit us on Facebook at Raj Jewelry because love deserves a ring. John Lewis Styles introduces its VIP Rewards Card. Apply today and get special discounts on clothing, shoes, and accessories. John Lewis Styles, simply different. With a distinctive flavor, Umda Palka Oil. This Palka Dean is a delight when preparing sweet meats and all the dishes for healthy cooking with a rich buttery taste and aroma. It is used for religious purposes and is a principal fuel for burning. Umda Palka Dean is light, pure, with a real Dean texture. Reads Georgetown. It's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Served hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties, and formal nine. The new thriving Chinese restaurant, 32 Main Street, Georgetown. Only at Kisoon's can you get the guaranteed offer of up to 50% discount on every item in their Blowout Factory Surplus Sale. 50% off for Guyana's 50th anniversary right through the year. Check it out at their spacious factory outlet at Rheinvolt Industrial Park where parking is no problem. They're in the mood to celebrate at Kisoon's. Once you want it, Kisoon's will make sure you don't leave without it. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's the dinner? I had a hard day. 
I'm sorry you have a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is... All the professionals at Action Cool, our fully trained technical team, have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. With human trafficking coming from most interior regions, Junior Minister of Indigenous Affairs, the Honorable Valerie Garrido Lowe, reports. On the sidelines were 18 Indigenous men and women from across Guyana who were honored for their contributions to the development of Guyana and the Humaniana. And shows themselves of each village, you know, to to keep account, not only keep account on their, their villagers, but also when they're leaving the communities. They must say where they're going and who Romanex or, or who they're going with. Um, that, that is, you know, we think that that would help us to keep a check on them. Minister Lowe also stated that employment is a sore need in interior communities. They need money. They need, um, no payment. For six months, you know, the girl came and she was, but she had expected to draw all her money when she was ready to leave. But it so happened when she was ready to leave, she didn't get paid. So she came out. So we're trying our very best, and of course, we're working along with the Ministry of Social Protection to help in these. Um, in this trafficking in persons. When asked what steps are being made to see more employment in those regions, Minister Lowe said, well, uh, I'm actually, our government is really, um, we have approved in the budget 977 million for the hinterland employment and youth service, which is a training program for youths, which will give them the skills to be job ready to enter the world of work. Can they fix the plumbing from the, the school and the, and the washrooms? Can they fix the electricity and all those things? Can they get jobs from contractors in like electrical installation uh, and things like that? No. So what we're doing, we're concentrating on giving them those skills. So it's a year's program. Minister Lowe also feels that ecotourism can play a major role to end trafficking in person in interior locations. So getting them trained as um, tour guides and uh, you know run to, to build their own lodges and be able to run it themselves creating uh, she told me she did well in joinery. She's very proud of that and she's starting her own joinery shop. The USA 2016 Traffic in Person report states that Ghana is a source and destination country for men, women, and children subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor in areas. However, the report also stated that Ghana's newly elected government reformed the anti-trafficking interior ministerial task force in January 2016 and has maintained efforts to prevent trafficking. Andrew Weeks. Thanks, Andrew. Last evening, the Ministry of Health hosted an Alzheimer's conference to enlighten stakeholders about this memory loss disease. The Ministry of Public Health is looking to expand its services to cater for persons living with Alzheimer's disease. This was disclosed by psychiatric consultant to Guyana, Jose Balsero. I provide more time for family members than the patient. Because patients, unfortunately, cannot understand most of the things that we are talking about. And then, depend on the moment of the state of the illness. And this is important. That it's mostly middle-aged and elderly people. Some of these warning signs include memory loss in one's daily life, their inability to recognize loved ones, and even comprehend time and place. 
geriatric and gerontologist consultant Dr. Ordelis Ramirez Gonzalez explained how the disease was first discovered. The psychiatrist Elias Alzheimer's in 1907 was the first doctor that talking about um, Alzheimer's in relation with um, uh, some um, change of the brain and the, some uh, patient that, that dead and they do the autopsy. Then they find some change in relation. Housing is now holding consultations to determine the matter. Andrew Weeks reports. According to a Gini report, Minister Valerie Patterson is spearheading a countrywide consultation to find out if young people should be given a house lot at the age of 18. Recently, the minister held consultations with residents of Diamond Housing Scheme to hear their views. We want to encourage young people to go on their own, start being responsible, think about your future. A young person should be allowed to apply for a house lot at age 18. Let me see all those who agree with me. Our vision is rather than giving some only 5% of those people have occupied their lands. You know why the other 45 didn't occupy? Some of them can't afford to find a it is a plan by the Central Housing and Planning Authority to hear from every Guyanese their take on the new policy change within the ministry. Rose Hall, early in September, got their opportunity to participate in the consultation as well as Linden. Andrew Wicks reporting for Safe TV 2 Headline News. Thanks, Andrew. Coming up after the break, our regional and international news. It's John Lewis Styles. Buy one, get one at half price sale. Buy any pair of shoes, shirt, top, handbag, or lingerie, and you get the second one at 50% off. You better hurry. John Lewis Styles half price sale and soon. It's John Lewis Styles. Buy one, get one at half price sale. Buy any pair of shoes, shirt, top, handbag, or lingerie, and you get the second one at 50% off. You better hurry. John Lewis Styles half price sale and soon. Always something new. With a distinctive flavor, Umda Palkagi is made from 100% pure vegetable oil. This Palkagi is a delight when preparing sweet meats and all the dishes for healthy cooking with a rich buttery taste and aroma. It is used for religious purposes and is a principal fuel for burning. Umda Palkagi is light, pure, don't let this moment in history pass you by. Kisoons want every Guyanese home to showcase a new piece of furniture to remember this glorious event of our Jubilee celebration. Kisoons have gone crazy. Every item is on sale right through this year in the Big Broad Factory Surplus Sale, up to 50% off for the 50th birthday at Kisoons. Clearance is hosting a birthday sale you cannot miss. Get half off all male and female clothing and shoes in store for one day only. From evening gowns to church outfits to work and party wear, Levi's jeans, docker shirts, and more at Clearance on Church Street. That's where you need to be. Take advantage of Clearance half off birthday sale. Really hot. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, 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 please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's the dinner? I had a hard day. 
I'm sorry you have a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela. In news from There will be no race for leadership of the St. Lucia Labour Party at its first delegates conference since the June. There's only one nomination for political leader at this point that has come in within the, the, the established deadline, and that is um, Mr. Philip J. Pierre. There are a few other nominations that have been determined. But there's no need to refer to them at this point in time. I think most people would like to know what's happening as far as political leader is concerned. Uh, there will be a change in the vice chairmanship of the party also. And there may be a couple of other changes, but certainly there's only one nomination. The open session of the 2016 Conference of Delegates will be held in Bellevue, Viewfort on October 2nd. Clark says the party's... Fort Duncan. Um, a lawyer by profession and also a former speaker and um, deputy speaker. Says party officials are keeping a close eye on developments with an approaching tropical wave and barring any weather-related emergencies, all systems are go for Sunday's open session of the annual Conference of Delegates. Trump Clinton debate, former Miss Universe Trump called Miss Piggy, is speaking out this morning after Trump doubles down on criticism of her weight. And Amy, you've gotten more from Alicia Machado. That's right, right George. Alicia Lisa Machado became Miss Universe the same year Donald Trump took over that pageant. She claims he called her names like Miss Eating Machine after she gained 40 pounds. She says she is sharing her experience now because she is concerned about the future of her adopted country. She was once named the most beautiful woman in the world. Now, 20 years later, former Miss Universe Alicia Machado, she has a name. Where did you find Her this? name Where is did Alicia you find this? Machado. Trump spoke out about Machado's claims on Fox News. She was the worst we ever had. The worst, the absolute worst. And, uh, you know, she gained a massive amount of weight, and uh, it, was, it was a real problem. We had a, we had a real problem, not only that, her attitude, and we had a real problem with her. Maybe he will be saying uh, bad things about me, but it's okay. I'm strong. Representing Venezuela, Machado won the crown in 1996, the same year Trump took over the pageant. When she started gaining weight, she says well, Trump publicly shamed her. 118 pounds or 117 pounds, and she went up to 160 or 70. So this is somebody that likes to eat. He tell me, like, um, Miss Piggy, Miss Housekeeping, Miss Eating Machine, all of that kind names. Inside Edition obtained this video of Trump inviting the press to watch her work out. She was 19 years old. He used me then, you know, make a publicity or or trying to do a new um, show, you know, with with me in that moment. Trump also telling Howard Stern about Machado's eating habits. She was like an eating machine. I guess she ate a lot of everything. I had a That's not a shock right there. And, and, and Trump seemed so surprised when this came up at the debate, mm -hmm. and yet he wrote about it in his book. Wrote about it in his book, and obviously we have lots of video documentation of the things he said about her in the days that followed. Mm. Not what he wanted to be discussing after the presidential debate for him. And that's Save TV 2 headline news for this Wednesday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to find Safe TV 2 headline news on Facebook, YouTube, and safetvguyana.com. 